Hi. What's up? My name is Sammy the Super Scholar. Thanks for meeting me here in the library for our top secret mission. I have looked high and low for someone just like you. You see, I need your help fighting two terrible villains. Now, follow me. I bet you are wondering where we are going. Well, you'll find out soon enough. We are almost there. This is my super secret laboratory, aka my parents' basement. I brought you here so we could talk more freely about the two villains I mentioned. The first name is Slothy Sue. She spreads laziness and procrastination wherever she goes. You'll know she's around when you just feel tired and like everything is just fine the way it is. The clock will slow down and you'll think you have all the time in the world. The second insidious villain is Perfectionist Pete. He may be the worst of all. He makes you feel like if you can't be perfect, why try at all? Sometimes he even makes you doubt your own abilities. Watch out for him because he's a sneaky one. No fear however, because I know their kryptonite and it's called the habits of a scholar. Do you know what a habit is? A habit is something you do repeatedly either on purpose or without even knowing it. And guess what? Slothy Sue and Perfectionist Pete can't stand the habits of a scholar. They are no match for these 12 powerful weapons. The first one is preparation. This means you gather your materials, do your homework, and prepare yourself for the tasks you need to complete. You look ahead at the future and plan accordingly just like the man who knew to bring his umbrella with him. The second is practice. This means trying again and again until you get it right. Pete the perfectionist really hates this one. Sometimes we think things should just come easily, but if you talk to anyone who has achieved great things, they will tell you, it takes hard work and sacrifice to meet your goals. Speaking of meeting goals, that is number 3. You have to have a target to aim for before you can begin. If you don't know what you want to accomplish, then you cannot be successful at it. Make sure your goals are achievable but always stretch yourself. You are capable of great things. That leads us to the next habit intellectual risk taking. This does not mean to put your physical body in danger. This means to move beyond the expected and what's safe in your thinking and goal setting. Doing this means that you might, spectacularly fail, or you might just win big. And, if you do fail, you don't give up. The next habit is perseverance. You have to pick yourself back up and try try again. This takes believing in yourself and doing the work it takes to be successful. Scholars also take the time to think things through carefully before making a decision or taking an action. They think about what they are learning and make connections to the world around them. This is called pondering. Fancy word, I know. And, while you are pondering, remember to save your ideas for later by writing them down. Scholars record their sources and jot down what they are thinking. I know I have to do this. If I don't, I forget what I was thinking. Pondering requires a thirst for knowledge. Think about what it feels like when your mouth is dry. Nothing will quench that thirst, but a tall glass of water. Having a thirst for knowledge means you have a need to know, a craving for answers. That thirst for knowledge is fired by another habit of a scholar. It is called curiosity. Have you ever had something on your mind that keeps nagging you and you wish you knew the answer? That's what I'm talking about. Remember that on your journey of discovery to find the answers, it is super important to use varied resources and listen to multiple perspectives. This means checking your sources for accuracy and being open to thoughts and ideas different from your own. This will help you stay focused and keep your eye on the prize. And what is the prize? Well, it is excellent. Scholars strive to do their best. They don't always succeed. But they work hard and choose to do more than just enough to get by. What a sense of pride to know you did your best, regardless of the outcome. So, the next time you are stuck in a rut or you are feeling kind of unmotivated, look Slothy Sue and Perfectionistic Pete in the eyes and say, I got this. Pulled out the 12 habits of a scholar and let them have it. Preparation, practice, goal setting, intellectual risk taking, perseverance, pondering, Save ideas, thirst for knowledge, curiosity, varied resources, multiple perspectives, and excellence. Make them a habit and you can't go wrong. And don't forget, Scholars Rock. Video created by Jason S. McIntosh.
The Habits of a Scholar created by Sandra Kaplan. Thanks for watching.